What's going on, folks? I'm Automatic. I've been doing some research. We're gonna talk about crush counters for uh, the old and the, the new, the old new Zeku. So this video might take quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is just do the cliff notes right now. So I'm not gonna do any explaining. I'm just gonna show you what I feel are the the most strongest, considerable things to do with the crush counter, and then I'll go over what the what all the options are uh, after I demonstrate this. So I'm not gonna really say anything. Oh look, I expired my <laughs> no CFN points. Okay, so you got that. You got this. And you got uh, one of these. And then you got some, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, oh. One of those, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. And then that's it. That's all, that's the cliff notes. So now to go into detail, was that everything? Yeah, that was everything. We're gonna start off with standing hard punch. According to, uh, that was a weird inflection. According to the the uh, Capcom frame data, which I'm not 100% sure about, the standing hard punch is eight frames of startup itself, so that would make it his fastest crush counter. And uh, compared to crouching hard punch, it actually covers more range than, than crouching hard punch. So it's faster and better as a crush counter. You get less damage, probably uh, some other things to um, identify there. But the standing hard punch is better and it's bufferable. In terms of speed, it's better. So with that in mind, uh, if your opponent is blocking this, that's why I would recommend going into the EX, EX Koku here, because this is plus one on block. Now I guess a three frame character, that's not that great. I only get a trade at best, but I have a lot of safety in this. Now if I were to do the upward one here, actually it looks like the range is okay if I do that. But I think if they stand block us and then crouch, they can punish me. Actually I had an example with Ibuki of this, with Ibuki for the situation, uh, and she can reversal with four frame. It just depends on how you block this one. I don't recommend using this much at all. It seemed like it was really good initially, because it has frame advantage, but they can block it in a way that makes it unsafe. So therefore, I don't think it's that good. I think it's only for like a combo tool situation. But in any case, standing hard punch, I do recommend using this, uh, the EX Koku. Now, if it hits them, what you really want to uh, understand is that the uh, frame advantage you have here is more than you normally would if you just hit the Koku by itself. So this knockdown is good. Uh, normally you can get a standing medium punch, I think. Or no, you're plus two here, so you get crouching jab. But since you're juggling it, it gives you more knockdown frames. So in this situation, you can, you can actually do dash twice and then standing medium kick. So that makes it, uh, what, plus three? Plus four? Because this, this is seven frames. So it has to be plus four. That's great. Uh, is there anything else? And also, if this just hits your opponent, then you would go for the plus one there. So if it doesn't crush counter, you go for crouching jab, or you would go for a throw. You would go for a throw. <laughs> Let me do it again. There we go. And you would also generate a crush a crush counter from standing hard punch with his neutral his neutral throw here. If they're matching on their free frame, so that's good. Not bad. And I th there's something else that I'm having trouble writing. Uh, Interpreting that I wrote down. Oh, all right, right. Flip. Okay, there is a. At your own discretion, I, this is not something that I would advise advise doing. This knockdown seems pretty good with the flip. You can actually cover both knockdowns with it. And what I'm talking about is the quarter circle forward. Um, whatever. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's actually called Bushin flip, but um, so now you have enough knockdown frames when this crush counters to actually hit both of their uh, normal and back recovery with this. Is knocked out. I think you use medium punch and you do have to time it a little bit but you can cover both knockdowns here. Uh, I used the wrong one. I'll give it a few more shots if I don't get it right then. There we go. You can cover both. I'm not that crazy about it because I feel like this is very reactable. If they have an invincible reversal, they should be able to anti you with it. If they don't, then it's pretty good. Or if you have them in the corner, maybe it's pretty good too because then you'll you'll be able to go behind them with the, alter the alternative, the, uh, the punch option. So, not bad. It's there. Uh, there's something else here, isn't there? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so you can... Combo into the V skill. Now this is something that if you're able to actually react to the crush counter and see it, you would want to buffer into the medium kick techie. Now is this possible? I'm not too sure. I haven't really tested it for myself. What you would want to do is put 
uh, counter on random and and recovery. Actually, you can just put counter on and then guard on random, and then you would see if you can actually react to the crush counter here. And in this case, it'd be pretty good because then you can uh, save a meter and get a V skill and gain some V trigger in the process. So that's pretty good. And I think that's it. Oh, and okay, so alternatively off of this, you can do the Heart Kick Koku. And then you'll be plus three here, so that means you can get standing medium punch on their normal recovery. So this is the last thing about standing hard punch. Bada bang, bada boom. Okay, so that's standing hard punch as I see it. Uh, generally, like I said in the clip notes, just, I think EX, EX Toku. EX Ko Toku, I'm mixing it. EX Koku. I think that's the go-to for that, that particular button and the crush counter option. So... Up next we have Crouching Hard Punch. To me, Crouching Hard Punch seems like it's mostly, man, I got, man, you know, wash my face before I do these videos. Crouching Hard Punch is more of a way to punish your opponent without using any resources and doing more damage. It looks like this does 308 Hard Kick Techie into Koku 308 and 520. So if you have a super and you want to kill your opponent, you can spend all of it there, you can cash out. So I think this is okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit, like, tempting. In the same situation where I had the flip cover both knockdowns, now you're resetting them in this situation if you use a crouching hard punch. So off of this crouching hard punch, you can do some little things here and there. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of this because there's a big space in between this. There's a big space. Your opponent might even be able to jump back and then just anti-air you. But it's there. It's not really, you know, something I care to dive into that much. But that's how I see it with crouching hard punch. If you buffer the EX, jeez, uh, EX Techie here, I don't really like it. You miss out on a lot of damage from that, and you burn the meter. Um, not really that good either. Uh, so what I think the Crouching Hard Punch really is for is for um, combos, connecting damage. And if you get a Crush Counter, I, I actually I suggest doing the Hard Kick DP here. If you get a Crush Counter, you don't really see it. But even in this scenario, sometimes you can be too far away for this Hard Kick DP to even hit them. So in that case, I think you get standing hard kick, and that's it. So and that's and that's if you're not buffering it, if you're not actually anticipating that it will crush counter, or if you don't have a guaranteed situation that it will crush counter. So yeah, and, and it, it, that can even work too. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the crushing hard punch outside of a guaranteed punish. If you see them with a DP, that kind of thing. But if you see them with a DP, this standing hard kick uh, can be better. It can be better because. What I demonstrated earlier was that if you were playing footsies, because standing hard kick has more range than crouching hard punch, standing hard punch, and even young Zeku's crouching hard punch. This has more range. It's kind of slow. I think it's listed as 13 startup. Yeah. Oh, this has 12 startup, which is decent. Um, I think that's the same as Karen's roundhouse. I could be wrong. That might be 10, actually. But it's not bad, but it's not amazing either. But you can convert off of it, and that's what I feel like this is going to be used for the most. Uh, converting, dashing up and hitting standing light punch. I think crouching light punch works as well, and that's... They're both four frames, so that's kind of the thing. That's kind of the, the same thing. You could also do light punch Koku off of the jab. And that's okay, but that knockdown is kind of whack, so I feel like you should go for the damage here. Man, can I not do it? <laughs> there we go. So, the difference is that if you have V-Trigger available, or if you have meter that you might want to use with that V-Trigger. So, with that in mind, if you use the standing hard kick and you're up close for a punish, you can do another standing hard kick. Now, off of that standing, standing hard kick, you can then cancel V-Trigger and then go to Crouching Hard Punch. Uh, what's that? Medium Kick. Medium Kick Techie and Medium Kick Toku. So, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good punish. That did. I actually didn't get the damage on that. That should have done... 354 damage, so I did 50 more damage than the Crouching Hard Punch combo. And uh, you use your V-Trigger activation, so now you have access to the uh, combo here, which is a whole different story. I think this is a really good V-Trigger. Just, just, just that alone is really good. And I also learned just now that you can actually hit confirm the end part of that V-Trigger, the Hard Punch Hard Kick together, you can hit confirm into Super with that, so you can do frame traps. Anyways! Uh, you get a little bit more damage, you activate the V-Trigger off of that. Um, uh, the other thing you can do is walk up standing medium punch off of this crush counter. If you're close enough, 
Which, again, I don't think this is the, the, the uh, crush counter that you use if you're too close to your opponent, unless it's punishing. But you can use it as a way to get into um, to Young Zeku. But you do have to walk up with the standing medium punch a little bit. And then you can go into Young, young, <laughs> young V skill. And alternatively, from here, you could do the Heart Kick Toku. <laughs> Toku. <laughs> Heart Kick Koku. And I think that's it for as far as the standing hard punch. Is that correct? Oh, oh, oh. so if this hard, if this does crush counter from that distance where you might use it, if it crush counters from here and then you activate V trigger, then you can dash up and hit crouching hard punch. That I feel is very good. I think this is really good. Because as we saw earlier, you can get the medium kick Techie and the medium kick Toku. Actually, you might be able to get the hard kick one. Let me let me let me do my my um, patented cla the classic test test while I'm making a YouTube video. One second. I just want to see if I can get the hard kick Koku after I get this uh, particular crush counter situation. I think I had to do medium kick, right? Yeah, I do. I had to do medium kick, so that's 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 correct. So um, that's mostly it for for Zeku's old form. But uh, you do have the crush counter roundhouse. This is going to be more of a setup oriented thing. There's going to be like a few back recovery things that you can uh, crush counter your opponent with. So just to give you a really rough example, let's see if I put them in back recovery. If I do maybe the medium kick here and then crouching roundhouse, perfect. So then if I have that situation and I have V trigger, I can have some confidence in doing this. Because I can do that and then activate V trigger and that'll make my sweep safe. So there's some something there with that. But mostly I feel like his round his sweep is pretty weak. Um, just in general. It doesn't have a lot of range. It's it's hard to even punish some sweeps on block with it. But if you do find yourself in a crush counter situation, I, I don't really have a whole lot. I have a I'm developing a frame kill right now that works on the, the uh, roll here. So what you can do is frame kill up to this. And then you can frame kill just the same way to go behind them. And then you can frame kill to the throw option. It's okay, but I don't see it being used frequently. And if you activate it, you should dash up. Or if you were going to do the same thing. Again, I don't know this is the most optimal thing to do. There's probably a safe jump setup we can find somewhere. But you can also dash up and then do the same frame kill. And then you can work just the same, left or right. And you would use the light punch and the medium punch to determine whether you want to be in front or in back. Eh, it's alright. So that is it for old man Zeku. As far as the youngin who's got a good, he's got lumbar support. You know, he doesn't have to take acetaminophene or Advil or anything for his lower back pains. Like your boy Jibbo. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I don't have any painkillers anymore. Anyways, so you don't have nearly as many options with the young Zeku. It's just crouching hard punch and then crouching hard kick. Um, so as far as the crouching hard punch, you get the target combo after you dash up. Now there are situations where you can do the um, crouching hard punch meaty. So with the medium punch palm here, if you dash up against their normal recovery, you will hit your uh, crouching hard punch on a later active frame. So you can dash up and have more advantage. So from here, now I can combo my standing medium punch and go into the target combo. Off of the target combo, I would go into the shoulder, etc., etc. Uh, what I I would do shoulder V skill, or I would do Shoulder, medium punch, uh, palm. I don't think that's the actual. I don't know the name of the move that is. Name of the move. I don't know the, the the name of that move. Anyways, so that's crouching hard punch. I don't see it being used a whole lot in terms of footsies. This, like on paper, it's not bad. It's got three active frames. I think it was like 10, 10 startup. Let me take a quick look. Uh, we're looking at yeah, ten. That's not bad. But it's not glaringly impressive either, but time will tell how good that really might be. Uh, alternatively, you can also do standing hard punch and then V skill again. Uh, you can also do, <coughs> excuse me, you can do this. You can do one crouching hard punch and then another one up close, standing hard punch. But this actually does less damage than if you were to do that target combo. This would be useful if you're not using it on the later active frame. So you would be comparing this, which does 260. And you would be comparing that to this, which is doing more than 260. All right, 287. So that is better if you're using that as a punish. But if you're using it as a footsie tool from far away, then you absolutely have to go into the target combo, 
Which the target combo is pretty good in terms of the knockdown frames. You get a meaty crack and medium punch on their normal recovery. So this is a pretty good, uh, what you might call party starter, right? Random crush counter, dash up target combo, meaty crushing hard points, and then bang 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 Meaty, meaty crushing hard punch, and then a crush, crush counter from, you know, wherever you might get it. The other thing is crouching hard kick. Now, I think this is what's going to make Young Zeku, and this is a little bit outside of the feature. This is what's going to make Young Zeku pretty good. Your ability to use a crushing roundhouse and activate the uh, V-Trigger to keep it safe. Have frame advantage if you're up close. But also because the crush counter roundhouse, if it's done in its, in its later active frames, it will not it will not knock them down. It's hard to do this in a fussy range. Well, I just, that's actually, that's a perfect example. It's better to do this if you have a knockdown setup, because, and you have V-Trigger, because it'll cover both normal and back recovery. So, for example, uh, if I do something like crouching medium punch into the medium punch paw, we'll turn off crush counter, I'll put on the three frame. If I do something like this, well, first of all, this is a really interesting setup here, because this actually beats um, the uh, three frame reversals. I think the hard punch will actually avoid it. I think you get the same thing here. And then the back recovery. There we go, and they're standing. Now the reason why that, before this, before I get into that, the reason, the reason why this is good is because that's close on block. A hard punch, palm, has frame advantage. So that's a good thing to know too. I think I can get a crouching medium punch here. No, okay. I think I have to slide, right? More testing during YouTube videos. Anyways. So we have a situation where we're guaranteed if they are mashing on wake up, my slide will hit them and they'll stay standing. And then I can get what I think I, I think I get a full combo. I actually forgot what I get here. Let's find out. So from this situation, I do hard punch palm, I dash up, and yeah, I get I think I get crouching hard punch, a crouching medium punch. So that should be totally fine here. Right? And that's all good. So if they block it. Now that I have V trigger, I can just cancel. I can, or I can cancel anyways. I can cancel off their normal or back recovery off of the slide. I think this is really, really, really unique. Really, really, really ridiculously unique. So if I don't know, I can cancel here. Or, and it, it seems like you can cancel the, the slide a bit late. So if you don't, if you react to it while they're they're blocking, then you would activate. Or you can save the V trigger and be extra greedy or conservative. Right? And then you get the combo here. Bada bing, bada boom. You can probably dash up from here and maybe, I'm not sure what else you would do. I think crunching medium punch is the best starter for the combo. I could be wrong. Oh, actually if you have V-Trigger activated, what you can do now is, you're gonna do standing groundhouse and then another one. And then go into the target combo there. So that's really it. But I guess I can leave a caveat with this with this uh, V-Trigger here. I want to show off because I just found this out. It's pretty cool. So the opponent is matching a 3-frame, right? Activate my, my V-Trigger. I poke with this. And if I do it fast enough, right? I can actually hit them in a frame trap within that within that chain combo here. Right? So, so if I'm using my slide as a poke. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Now it's like my slide has a, has a frame trap in it. Right? Because normally what you do with, with a slide, what you want to do is just crouching jab. Because that'll make it safe at least. Uh, but now I have a frame. <laughs> now I have a frame trap. Pretty cool. Uh, so if I see them blocking my slide. That is the latest super I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely hit confirmable. Hit confirmable. So, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Hope you learned something. Like and subscribe. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm automatic. <laughs> I just think so hard. I did it wrong too. Darn.